going to talk about our 15-foot lobster boat, which is really the most versatile and interesting design of our boat when you study marine design. We've already talked about the melon seed and the Jersey skiff and how they have the box keel and they're very efficient forms where they slip through the water. They're just you know, very, very low drag hull. Those are from the 1800s. This comes from around 1930. And by that era, outboard motors had been invented. And when they worked, they worked pretty good. But they didn't work a lot and a lot of people couldn't afford them, but they could only afford one boat. So this was designed as a good, decent rowing boat a surprisingly effective sailboat and is also the only one you'll find of the type that has planing speed potential with an outboard motor. The way they did that, it's called a semi-dory hull. You can see how these three boats all have a similar dory bow as it's called, but instead of coming to a pintail stern, the lobster boat flares into a flat bottom. And normally a flat bottom creates drag, but in this case they actually rock the stern up just a little bit. This gives a very low resistance, allowing it to row and sail very effectively. If you don't have the weight of a motor on the back, it just kisses the surface and it'll flow over the water, creating very little drag. It has great utility and really good stability because of its workload heritage. It's nice, big, wide, flat floor. You can pull crab pots. Got the crab pot puller here. Drop it in over the side. You can stand here and pull the pots in over the side with We've caught a lot of crabs out of these. A modern boat of this style has a real square transom because they're designed to carry really big outboard motors. This boat is so efficient, it'll plane with about eight horsepower. This 15 I have on here will make it really scoot. What keeps the boat from being able to, to perform well under sail is drag. If you have a big square corner, you drag it in the water, you see a big wave coming along behind you. Water weighs eight pounds per gallon. If you're dragging 100 gallons of water behind, that's an 800 pound weight. It's not going to work well. And also notice how the sides of the hull of the lobster boat are rounded. What this does is allow the boat to heel under sail without creating drag. Watching the lobster boat under sail is actually kind of counterintuitive. Although it looks kind of like a motorboat at first glance, when you see it sail, you realize its dynamic performance. It's surprisingly stable, tacking from side to side, no drama. It tacks and jibes just in one or two boat lengths with very predictable nature. If you could only have one boat, you have a cabin on a lake, you want something you can fish in, that you can sail, and you can get quickly over to the bar at 5 p.m. on the other side of the lake, the lobster boat is the one you want. I personally have spent more hours in a lobster boat than any other boat we build. That's the best testimonial I can give.